The boy or girl paradox recently went viral on social media, so I'd like to explain why there's no clear answer. The question is this. Mr. Smith has two children. At least one of them is a boy. What is the probability that both children are boys? Assume there's a 50% chance of boys and girls and that each birth is independent like a coin flip. Pause the video if you'd like to think about your answer before I explain. For many people, the first answer that comes to mind is one in two, since we're treating births like coin flips. The classic yet unintuitive solution is one in three. The explanation goes like this. If someone has two children, there are four equally probable events. We know Mr. Smith doesn't have two girls, so we eliminate this event and are left with three equally probable events. In one of them, both children are boys, so that's where you get the classic answer of one in three. However, this assumes that Mr. Smith was selected among people who have two children, at least one of whom is a boy. It's like you hosted a party and only invited people with two children and at least one boy. If you went up to a random man at the party, there would indeed be a one in three chance that both his children are boys. Now imagine you hosted a different party where you invited men with two children. Each father was told to bring exactly one child chosen at random, assume no preference for boys or girls. You go up to a man who has brought a boy. What are the chances that both his children are boys? There are twice as many men with a boy and a girl as there are men with two boys, but they're half as likely to have brought a boy to the party since there's a 50% chance they'll bring a girl. So the probability that both this man's children's boys are one in two. Both answers can be correct depending on how you came to the information that Mr. Smith has two children and at least one boy. 